Culture, a common relationship between a group of people. Common memory of people living together. Languages, history, and traditions. Cultures can come in a multitude of forms. The assimilation of various traditions that fuse into a single disposition. Multiculturalism is a situation in which all the different culture or racial groups in a society have equal rights and opportunities. In other words, multiculturalism is when the different racial groups in the community all have the same rights and treat each other equally. Indonesia is one of the countries in which a multicultural community can be found. Since 1945, there have been various attempts in which the community has tried to unify the various cultures and traditions in the country. In Indonesia, multiculturalism is quite prevalent because of the various races that can be found in the country. For example, Javanese, Bataknese, Ambonese, etc. Since the independence of Indonesia, we can find various attempts to unify the various cultures in Indonesia, especially reflected in our motto, Bineka Tunggal Ika, which means unity and diversity. Proklamasi Kami Bangsa Indonesia Dengan ini Menyatakan Kemerdekaan Indonesia Hal-hal yang mengenai Pemindahan kekuasaan Dan lain-lain Diselenggarakan Dengan cara saksama Dan dalam tempo yang sesingkat-singkatnya Jakarta 17 Agustus 1945 atas nama bangsa Indonesia Soekarno Hatta The multicultural situation in Singapore is similar to that of Indonesia where it is also a melting pot of different diverse cultures and traditions unified under one nation through tolerance and solidarity. In Singapore, the population is made up of 75% Chinese, 15% Malaysian, 7% Indian, and 3% Eurasian and Pranaka. Every year, both government-funded and private schools celebrate Culture Appreciation Day, where all the students wear ethnic clothes and exchange them with each other to show harmony and unity. In addition to that, for government housing, there is a racial quota regulated by the government, so there will be a specific number of racial groups in the housing block. According to a newspaper published by the Straits Times on 17th February of 1989, there are limits for each HDB neighborhood, comprising of about 50 blocks for each racial group. The Chinese should only compromise of about 87% of the residents, 25% for the Malays, and 13% for Indians and others. The government believes that the flat should represent a racial and social mix so that there will be a development for t tolerance for other racial groups. It is based on the 1965 riots and ethnic weariness. During our time in Singapore collecting data, we asked people if they were willing to fill out our form and received 102 responses. Amongst our respondents, 24% were 12 to 18 years old. 8% were 19 to 30 years old, 41% were 31 to 45 years old, and 27% were in the 46 and above age group. 73% of our respondents were Singaporean citizens or PRs, while the other 27% were students from abroad or people who came there to work. From the people who filled out our form, 74% were Chinese, 17% were Indian, 4% Malay, and 5% others, which included Caucasian, Indonesian, Filipino, and Sri Lankan. We asked people what phrases came to their mind when they heard the word Singapore. 43 people answered diverse, 38 people answered harmony, 27 people answered multicultural, 24 people answered tolerance, 8 people answered beautiful, 8 people answered peace, and 5 people answered racist. One of 
the solutions that can be provided by the government is by building public parks and international schools. Public parks and schools can be built via government funding. So, how can we help increase the multicultural identity within the community? By building public parks and schools, people get more chances to meet and interact with each other. Students and communities alike will start to show tolerance towards other cultures and strengthen their multicultural identity. One example of this will be the RPTRA Kalijodo in North Jakarta. In the past, Kalijodo used to be an infamous red light district, but was demolished by the order of Ahok, the governor during that time. Now, Kalijodo has been renovated into a beautiful public park with various facilities such as a skateboard park, auditorium, theater, and courtyard. People frequently perform their unique cultural exhibits such as Chinese New Year shows. People will be able to accept other cultures as well as strengthen their own. Another solution to increase cultural identity within the community is by building cultural centers and to celebrate various events from different ethnic groups. There are two advantages of this. First, we can increase economic growth and tourism. Second, we can empower people socially. Considering on how much Indonesia benefits from tourism and construction, about 19.7 billion US dollars annually, or 8% of the GDP, we should increase the amount of tourists that visit our country. In addition to that, employment rate can also increase from celebrating various cultural exhibits because there are performers that take part in those shows. We can empower people socially because they can learn about their own culture to, and it will increase cross-cultural communication and decrease conflicts, thus stabilizing the socio-economic condition of the country. People can also learn about their own culture and be immersed in it thoroughly. Jadi dalam artian misal misal kita mempunyai teman yang memiliki agama berbeda atau ras berbeda kita tidak boleh membeda-bedakan mereka. Kenapa? Karena mereka adalah rakyat Indonesia. Jadi kita harus menerima dan menghormati mereka. Tetapi pertanyaannya adalah mengapa di Indonesia masih sering ada kasus-kasus diskriminasi dan rasisme? Topik. Jawabannya adalah karena banyak faktor. Iya. Salah satu faktornya adalah karena kurangnya edukasi di Indonesia. Banyak sekali orang-orang di luar sana, anak-anak yang tidak mendapatkan edukasi yang cukup Sehingga mereka bertumbuh besar tanpa mengetahui moral-moral kehidupan Mereka tidak mengetahui apa toleransi, mengapa kita harus menjadi bersatu Mengapa kita harus um, menghormati agama-agama atau perbedaan-perbedaan lainnya Living in a multicultural society helps me to see what others are like. I can learn to tolerate other cultures and understand how other cultures work. Because of that, I am able to express and share my thoughts with my friends from other cultures and countries. Moreover, living in a multicultural community gives me a multitude of insights into different interesting cultures around the world, and I can learn to respect and coexist within these cultures through respect and tolerance. It gives me an awareness on all the different interesting cultures out there and their traditions make me realize that there are more than my own cultures in the world. Every culture is not the same. No culture is wrong or right. We just have to accept it just the way it is. Interracial marriage can affect the family both negatively and positively because there will be a confusion that the child will suffer from. For example, being confused whether to take Tamil or Chinese for their mother language in school. Neutral. It is about interpersonal relationships that develop within the family, which may or may not be affected by race or culture. I don't think that culture has shaped who I am today, judging from the fact that culture itself is not a big part of my life. In addition to that, I don't really take part in traditional events and activities that exist in my country because I think that they are a waste of time. I see it more towards a positive thing as we discover and learn from each ethnic culture. We adapt and respect each culture despite some hump along the journey. This is part of developing ourselves and can nurture and benefit the younger generation of family members.
Siapa nama Anda? Nama saya Santi Siregar. Sudah berapa lama Anda di bidang pendidikan? Di bidang pendidikan kurang lebih 15 tahun. Apakah budaya Indonesia membentuk jati diri anak bangsa pada saat ini? Iya, menurut saya sih sangat membentuk jati diri dengan cara mencintai negara Indonesianya sendiri. Menurut Anda, mengapa pendidikan budaya penting? Pendidikan budaya itu sangat penting karena latar belakang dari budaya itu adalah berbeda-beda di mana mereka nanti akan belajar untuk saling menghargai di antara perbedaan itu sendiri. Bagaimana latar belakang budaya seseorang mempengaruhi pembelajaran? Rasa cinta tanah air dengan perbedaan budaya yang berbagai macam dan banyak suku itu nanti akan melatar belakangi bahwa seseorang itu menjadi lebih kuat lagi dengan rasa cinta tanah air. Sesuai dengan Bineka Tunggal Ika, berbeda-beda tetap satu juga. Bagaimana kita dapat meningkatkan toleransi melalui pendidikan budaya? Saling menghargai, saling menghormati, dan saling uh, mengerti, memahami satu dengan yang lain. Solusi apa yang dapat Anda sarankan untuk memperkuat identitas budaya dalam komunitas multikultural seperti Indonesia? Yang memperkuat identitas budaya dalam komunitas multikultural itu sendiri, uh, memahami budaya sendiri dan memahami budaya orang lain sehingga akan memunculkan yang namanya saling toleransi. Haruskah kita berusaha untuk mencegah asimilasi budaya atau kita harus dukung adaptasi berbagai budaya di Indonesia? Kalau untuk mencegah asimilasi sepertinya tidak, karena dengan asimilasi kita akan semakin kaya akan budaya, uh, itu mungkin akan lebih efektif dan positif untuk uh, keragaman budaya di Indonesia. Tapi kalau untuk yang namanya mendukung adaptasi berbagai budaya di Indonesia, yang positif boleh diadaptasi, yang sesuai dengan culture-nya Indonesia ya. Tapi kalau memang tidak sesuai dengan culture-nya Indonesia, Kita hanya cukup untuk memahami dan mengetahui itu aja. Baik, terima kasih Bu. Sama-sama. In conclusion, multicultural traits are important for all the people of the world. If we not learn to respect and tolerate other people, riots and chaos will ensue, and many people will suffer because of them. There are many solutions to preserve the many cultural identities in the world. Some examples include educating the younger generation on the various culture in the country, building public parks and international schools, as well as building cultural centers. Hi, we are a group of students from Jakarta, Indonesia, and this is our Global Perspectives Group project. My name is Joey. My name is Rebecca. And my name is Peter. The reason we did this project is that we would like to come up with concrete ways in which as a school community and citizens of this nation, we can better handle the issues of multiculturalism, as well as hopefully establish and maintain the strong cultural identities within our community. Thanks for watching. We hope you gain something informational and insightful from our video.